I'm Rob Huxley, and I'm Head of Collections in the Botany Department. Sir Hans Sloane was a noted physician, scientist and collector. In his 93 years of his life, he put together a fantastic collection of over 400,000 objects, plants, animals, manuscripts, antiquities, coins, all manner of things. Effectively, he was the founding father of this Natural History Museum. As a young, recently qualified physician, Sir Hans Sloan was offered the dream job, a job to become a physician in Jamaica. This was a great opportunity, not only to advance his career, but also to investigate new possible medicines that he might find there, and maybe even make money out of it. When he was in Jamaica, he made a fantastic collection of plants and animals. But he didn't just collect them, he also had them drawn, to make sure that their features were kept for posterity. He also described how they were used. And in particular, he collected objects, knowledge, even music from the enslaved Africans in Jamaica. Without the transatlantic slave trade, it is unlikely that Sloan would ever have got to Jamaica, where he went as a young man at the age of 27 as a physician to the governor of the island. He was also fortunate enough to marry a widow of a wealthy plantation owner, and the income that he had certainly helped him to invest in his various enterprises, one of which brought him hogsheads of sugar directly from slaving ships trading from the West African coast to the Caribbean. I think we need to remember that Sloan was very much a man of his time, a time of expansion and entrepreneurship. And though he may have been sympathetic to local customs and the practices of enslaved Africans, he was also an investor and a speculator who made money out of the knowledge that he gained from those he interacted with. One of our celebrity specimens in the Natural History Museum has to be Sloan's specimen of cocoa collected in Jamaica. Hans Sloan saw chocolate being drunk in Jamaica. They mixed it with water and he found it nauseous. So he mixed it with milk and found it very healthy. He brought his recipe back to London and sold it to an apothecary. And Cadbury's later made chocolate using Hans Sloan's recipe. Why is it important? Well, firstly, it was collected by Sir Hans Sloan one of the most important collectors, perhaps, that we've ever had. Secondly, it's what we call a type specimen. When the species, cocoa species, was first described scientifically, this is the actual specimen that was used. Thirdly, like most of the natural history collections that we have here in the museum, it's a record of what grew somewhere in the past. In this case, it's a record of what grew in Jamaica 300 years ago. And that kind of information is invaluable when we're trying to work out how the world might have changed. And finally, last but not least, it's chocolate. 